what is up this is your boy ho and today i'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on visual basic .net. now a lot of people out there want to develop applications they want to create programs that other users can run especially on the windows operating system however they do know that programming takes a long time it's complex it's not really worth it well that's what they feel at least so if you feel like that I just want to tell you that Visual Basic .net is what you it's going to be the thing for you because it's very useful and it allows you to program very quickly. So, before I get into what Visual Basic .net is, it's a programming language, but before I get into it, I'd like to explain what .net is in general. Now, um the .net, if you go on Microsoft's website, is a framework released by Microsoft. It's kind of like, you know, when you're on the computer and you have to, like, install Java. Like, it tells you you need to update Java. When you're, you, .NET is also like that. You need to update your .NET framework because it allows applications that use .NET to run properly. Or, and, you know, with the newest features. So, that's what the .NET framework is, and it is a really simple framework to develop with, and not only that, but it also is very quick. It allows you to create applications quickly, and you can use a variety of programming languages with the .NET framework. You could use C++, C Sharp, and some other stuff, but we're going to be focusing on Visual Basic, because it's, it's a pretty simple one to teach, and it'll get you started off with programming, for those of you that are completely new to it. So. <clears throat> we all know that to program you need an IDE that stands for an integrated development environment and there are many out there you could use um, some are open source some cost money some they're half free half pay let me explain a couple for visual basic that NET there are two major ones you can choose to use you can choose to use one called sharp develop it's an open source integrated development environment that is completely free. I have a link to it in the description. That's going to be the one I'm going to be working with. However, there's, a, there's another one called Microsoft Visual Studio. And um, I'll have a link to that in the description too. However, for that one, only the Express, Express, Express version of the program is free. The other versions, um, the professional version, it costs some money. So um, if you're not willing to dish anything out, you can go with the Express Microsoft version, or you could go with the open source Sharp Develop IDE that I personally like to use. So once you have the IDE installed, you're going to want to open up the IDE, and from there you're going to notice a screen where you can s where you can basically see panels. You'll see some panels at the bottom, some at the right, some at the left. Those are all components of the IDE that we'll be working with to help make programming easier. Alright, so when you want to start up a new project in the Sharp Develop IDE, you can either open a solution or a new solution. We're going to be doing a new project, so we're going to click New Solution, and from there it is going to give us some options Dell base uh, here here we go so the options is in sharp develop you can code in C sharp C++ F sharp Python Ruby a bunch of other stuff but we're gonna be doing VB and Visual Basic and we're gonna be creating Windows applications now we could create a console application a user control library notify icon application a Windows service but we want to create a Windows application and we're gonna call it hello Alright, and it will have the project created for you. Um, you'll notice you'll have a project pane here that will show the solution hello world. Hello world. If you maximize it, you'll have references, bin, object, properties, all this good stuff. But there are two main things. This is the main form. This is what basically is on the main form. Then we have this other thing called program. If you open program, you'll notice it's kind of like, it's just basically setting up the main form for you but this is where the main form is and you can op switch files by you know going up to these tabs so we're back into our main form now our main form where this is code right now this is all code in vb.net 
but what's good about this IDE is we can also visually design by clicking the design button and from there we're gonna get a visual designer they'll actually help us create a window like this alright so that is basically the visual designer for you now I'm gonna show you how to run the program click the green arrow and I'll run the program that you've created so far you might get a security alert like I have gotten for my security software just click open normally try to save the settings press OK and you will notice a window has appeared and it was the window you had programmed the window called hello world